my country people on a good morning good afternoon good evening depending the time we take get this particular video update they you know say so today night be the hearing of the they don't arrange you they don't they arrange already that they consider to televise this today so they won't do hopefully the end because this is just early money so we will get up more update i will update tonight if you never they follow me follow me now you're gonna get more update for you welcome to big things go utilization tv i beg follow me this particular video react make you make you share mm? react comment make you share now your work with that we are we are adding them you can't hear just listen to the new as in waiting the court one do what in the right and all of you hear this information very important my country people now live now with the video this one from chinese news that just now they just released and so no could not hear the news my country people oh be they call be it's coming they you don't see if they come now normally now go watch out together my country people i beg react make you share this video i beg no mercy for sharing no they no they fear to share now section petitions tribunal is now set to begin hearing of the petitions challenge in the declaration of the All Progressives Congress candidate, Senator Bola Tinubu, as the president-elect. The expected legal battle by the presidential candidates of the People's Democratic Party, Atiku Abubakar, the Labour Party, Peter Obi, and some other parties disputing the outcome of this year's presidential poll will commence from May the 8th. This next report takes a look at the grounds of the candidates and the prayers they are asking the court to grant. <laughs> The presidential election held on February 25th, 2023, is one that has generated several reactions, especially against the background of the provision of the Electoral Act 2022. The candidate of the People's Democratic Party, Mr. Atiku Abubakar, the Labour Party, Mr. Peter Obi, and the Action Alliance rejected the outcome of the exercise as declared by the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC. Thank you. Their prayers are quite similar. Mr. Peter B. and the Labour Party is praying the court for the following. The tribunal should cancel the election and compel ANEC to conduct a fresh one, at which time President-elect Tinubu, elect Shatima and the APC will not participate. The tribunal should declare that President-elect Tinubu was not duly elected by a majority of the lawful votes cast during the election. The tribunal should order INEC to retrieve the certificate of return issued to President-elect Tinubu and issue a fresh one to Mr. Peter B. The petitioners asserted that the election was marred by rigging and manipulations, and INEC violated its own regulations when it announced the results when at the time of the announcement, the total polling unit results had yet to be fully scanned, uploaded, and transmitted electronically as required by the Electoral Act. Mr. Peter B. particularly says President-elect Tinubu was not qualified to contest at the time of the election. They also prayed the tribunal to declare that President-elect Chinumbu was not duly elected by a majority of the lawful votes cast at the election. <laughs> Just like Mr. Peter B, Mr. Tiko Abubakar and the PDP are asking the tribunal to declare him winner of the presidential election or alternatively order a rerun between him, Mr. Tiko Abubakar, and the president-elect Ashwa Jubala Tinubu. In the alternative, he wants the entire election nullified and a fresh one conducted. The petition also says that President-elect Tinumbu was not duly elected by majority of lawful votes cast at the election, and at the time of the election, he was not qualified to contest the election. They also pray in the court for the following, determining that the President-elect was not duly elected by the majority of lawful votes cast in the election and therefore the declaration and return of him by ANEC as the winner of the presidential election is unlawful, wrong, unconstitutional, and of no effect whatsoever. Determining that the return of President-elect Tinubu by ANEC was unlawful, having not satisfied the requirement of the Electoral Act 2022 and the 1999 Constitution as amended, which mandatorily requires that he scores nothing less than one quarter, 25% of the lawful votes cast at the election in at least two-thirds of all the states in the Federation, and the Federal Capital Territory. Determining that President-elect Tunubu was, at the time of the election, not qualified to contest the said election. Determining that Mr. Atiku Abubakar, having scored the majority of lawful votes cast at the presidential election, be returned as the winner of the said election and be sworn in as a duly elected President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. In the alternative, however, they are asking the court for an order directing INEC to conduct a second election a runoff between President-elect Tinubu and Mr. Atiku Abubakar. In a further alternative, 
that the election to the office of the President of Nigeria held on 25th February 2023 be nullified and a fresh election rerun be ordered. However, the All Progressives Congress, in its replies, asked the Presidential Election Petition Court to dismiss the petitions filed by the opposition parties. It described the petition filed by Mr. Atiku Abubakar Victory as a gross abuse of court process. Responding to Mr. Abi's petition in a preliminary objection, President-elect Tinubu filed alongside his vice president-elect. They maintain that the Labour Party's candidate, Mr. Peter Obi, lacked the right to challenge the election victory. He argued that Mr. Peter Obi was not validly nominated to contest the presidential election, in line with the mandatory provisions of Section 77, Subsection 2 and Subsection 3 of the Electoral Act 2022. He insists that Mr. Peter Obi's name was not found in the register of members of the Labour Party noting that he defected to the party from the PDP less than 30 days before the primary election that produced him as a presidential candidate was conducted. The Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, is asking the tribunal to dismiss or strike out the petitions filed by Mr. Peter B. and Mr. Atiku Abulkar. INEC says the relief sought by Mr. Peter B. and his party are not grantable as they were grossly incompetent, abusive, vague, non-specific, ambiguous, and academic. The Electoral Commission also says Mr. Atiku Abubakar did not meet the constitutional requirements to be declared winner of the election. INEC adds that the election was conducted in substantial compliance with the Electoral Act 2022 and was not marred by any corrupt practices. It argues that a candidate must not secure 25% of votes in the FCT to be declared the winner. As the Presidential Election Petition Tribunal gets ready to begin proceedings, members of the panel are charged to uphold its tenets of integrity, professionalism and the rule of law.